it's really gay to me. It is really gay. Amazing. If I was to say that your life was a form of art, what would it look like? What would like it mean to you? Like a son? Mm -hmm. And how would that explain your life? Or how would you approach your life if you said my life is like art and it's a song? How I would approach that? Yeah, how would you approach your life? As a song? Yeah. make sense at some point yeah. maybe it would start to make more and more sense at, uh, through the song mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if there is some words maybe it's like mostly instrumental because mm. by my because by myself I'm like trying to put things together it's hard to find words mostly even to project or stuff just take abstract abstract like 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 what guide me seems abstract and don't have words so we don't put words but mm. a feeling feeling through instruments and maybe that at the beginning it's a bit you don't understand you really don't understand or like what's the melody or w which instruments are playing and maybe it's getting clearer and clearer mm -hmm. through the song until maybe at the end it's just silence until i find the silence that's so interesting at the end it's silence that would be the, but that would be if I manage to go in the direction I want, which mm. means peace. So for you, like peace is a form of silence, basically. Mm. Like not just peace, but completion. There is something divine in silence. Mm. If it's like if you can be with it, like you can, you can face something that have no form, no words, no. It's a bit scary, but it's where you meet something bigger than yourself. Mm. In that kind of silence, you feel me? Is it too abstract? No, I like it. It makes sense. I'm interested in the fact that you say that in the beginning it would be instruments and music and would will grow and grow and then explored and then become clearer and then finally silent it's almost interesting because it makes me think of like maybe even just life and death 
Mm-hmm. You know, like you start and it's chaotic and it's everything and it's exciting and and then it becomes clearer and clearer as you become clearer and clearer, or you sort through things to feel like what you most connect to, and then finally, I imagine at the end, it's it's silence, like but comforting silence, annoying, maybe even more than silence, like annoying, right? Mm-hmm. I think if my life was a form of art, it could be a dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dance. Um, I mm-hmm. think it would be like a com- contemporary kind of dance. Like very expressive and very including of so many things different genres because then I could include different songs it would be a dance (laughs) with lots of emotions and expressions but I think more than a dance I could imagine my life being a gallery a collection of work Pictures. Like different things, sculptures, paintings, poetry. It's but whatever you, you connect to. One thing. If I had to choose yeah. one thing that I could express my final existence in, it would be a dance, I think. Mm. Yeah. I think it would be the best way to capture my essence and not even me doing it but just if somebody who is a very talented contemporary dancer could like express my life in a dance that would be really cool yeah Hmm. I never thought about it like that actually Like I could have said it was a poem or a story, a novel, you know? But it almost feels like that would be too literal. And dance allows, I think dance allows for external uh, interpretation, but also it's just the experience of life. Yeah, there, it, yeah. It's easier to do, yeah. I would imagine, in dance. In some ways, like, even though I said my song wouldn't have worked, maybe they would have worked at the beginning. Yeah. But no more at some point. What kind of words? Yeah. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Yeah. Like, and I think that's also interesting because we just keep getting bigger and more expressive words, but it's because we are trying to catch up to 
the bigness of feelings, you know, and experiences, which are more advanced than any of our vocabulary could ever yeah. encompass. Yeah. 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 That's why eventually then it makes sense that you could even say silence at the end because there's nothing left then just to feel. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. There is no final form in emotions, right? Mm. Like even like when we go through things and we're like, at the end, when as you grow and you mature emotionally, you realize that you are often gonna come back even to the things you thought were done, just in a different way of feeling them and experiencing them. So nothing is ever done from a place of experience and feeling. Everything is just evolving. And I, I think as a creative or somebody who creates, I can relate to that more in a form of art. Because art is never done. You're never finished growing or expressing yourself. Like, even you as a musician, I don't imagine that there is the final song, you know? Because mm. it's just an expression of who you are. No, of course, baby, we couldn't. So I think that's what it means for me if life was lived as a form of art or an art work of art, you would allow yourself just to be and feel and express and experience rather than care so much about thinking there is like an end form that you're supposed to perfect, mm. you know, or working towards. You would realize there is no mm. end form, you know. It's just a collection of expressions and experiences and what you do with those things, mm. right? What's the function of a task that's done? 